Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use NVIDIA's AI-based lip sync tool audio to face and import the data to iClone, where you can fine tune both lip sync and expression results with its arsenal of motion editing tools. You can find the completely free audio to face plugin for iClone in the Reillusion Marketplace. Please be sure that you're updated to the latest version. You can also find the user guide here for more detailed information. Once you've downloaded, you'll have a zip file that contains two additional zip files and a README document that contains additional installation information. Once you unzip the audio to face file, copy it to the iClone bin64 open plugins folder. After you do so and launch iClone, you'll find it in the plugin menu. You'll also see a CC character auto setup zip file, which we'll talk more about later. In the Omniverse launcher, you'll want to ensure that you've installed the audio to face application version 2023.2.0 or above, along with the Reillusion connectors, and then go ahead and launch. From there, open up the audio to face app and under extensions, you'll want to select the previously mentioned CC character auto setup zip file. You'll then want to enable it and then toggle Auto Load On. Ok, that's the basic setup, let's look at how to export characters next. First thing to ensure is that your character has either the extended or standard facial profile loaded. Here you can see all of the various blend shape parameters in the Face Key Editor. If your character doesn't have a facial profile loaded, you can find them in the Content Manager. Next, you'll want to export your character to USD format. When you do so, be sure to use the RTX real-time mode, use current frame, and select Include Omniverse Audio to Face Mesh. Upon export, you'll get a folder that contains the main USD along with the dedicated A2F USD in its respective folder. Ok, now let's look at blend shape mapping. In Audio to Face, Open the USD file from the A2F folder first. Then you'll want to open the CC Character Auto Setup under the Reillusion menu and choose a preset based on your model's characteristics. In this case, we're using the Mark preset. You'll also want to ensure that you've selected the CC Base Body Mesh node and choose a desired audio file for your lip sync. Well, hey there, sailor. I haven't seen you around here before. Um, I figure. It's about time for a girl's night out. In the Emotion section, you can adjust the various parameters according to the requirements of your project. <gasps> There's a sale on at Mega Mall Incorporated! <gasps> then hit Generate Emotion Keyframes, which will generate the facial expression keyframes based on those uh, parameters. It's broken! My turbocharged mega laser I spent three weeks making it! You can fine tune this manually afterwards as well and NVIDIA has some great documentation on how to do so. Ok, finally let's look at how to export the A2F JSON file and import it into iClone for further enhancement. In the Auto Setup tool, export the CC Morph Weights and you'll see a number of JSON files appear in the Destination folder. In iClone, open up the Audio to Face plugin and import those same JSON files and click Create to see the results. Be aware that the generated clip will depend on the head position in the timeline. There's a sale on at Mega Mall Incorporated! <gasps> I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be interested. I'm, I'm not like other girls. In the plugin window, you can further customize various parameters, including the head movement. Hit Apply and play back to see the results. There are a number of additional parameters in the plugin window that you can tweak as well, including strength for subtle eye movements to give a more natural vibe. There are also parameters for the jaw and other facial features. Just remember to hit apply after every adjustment. There's a sale on at Mega Mall Incorporated! <gasps> I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be interested. I'm... Under animation style, you'll also find a smooth section to adjust if you find that there is too much jittering. Your ways, so go. For more precise lip sync results, you can also replace the imported visemes with the Aculips tool in iClone. This allows you to customize your results in more detail by adjusting individual viseme keyframes to get the results that you want, 
which is especially useful for singing scenarios where there is a sustained mouth shape based on the lyrics. You can also use the face key and curve editors to get the result perfect down to the last detail. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Your way, so I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of.